correct. Write down dl is a vector quantity, its direction is in the direction of current. Okay. So this is my dl current element. Okay. And I am trying to find out magnetic field over here. At this point, at a distance r away from the dl element or at a vector distance r away from the dl, I am trying to find out the magnetic field only because of the dl. I am not trying to find magnetic field right now because of the entire length of the wire. Okay? When I integrate, I will be able to find out for the entire length also. But if I know about what is the magnetic field only because of dl, I can then integrate for different different scenarios. Just like I have integrated this formula for a straight wire, for a circular loop, and found out electric field in different different scenarios, right? Similarly, I am just trying to find out what is the magnetic field because of dl at a vector distance r away. Understood? Okay. So the derivation of the formula is not in the syllabus. I will directly write the expression. Db is equal to write down mu naught by 4 pi.
magnetic field because of this DL will be different. The direction is like this DL direction. Okay. So source is a vector quantity for magnetic field. For electric field, the source is a scalar quantity. That is third difference. Okay. The fourth difference. The direction of electric field is what? In the direction of R, you connect point charge, the point charge with the point you are finding the electric field, join them along that line the electric field will be because of that point charge. Understood? Okay? What is the direction of magnetic field? Tell me. Which direction it will be? The direction of DL cross R. DL cross R direction. Okay, direction of magnetic field will be in the direction of DL cross R. This is extremely important. DL cross R will be perpendicular to both DL as well as R. Okay, do you know how to find out the direction of the cross product? If you have this vector A, that is vector B. What is the direction of A cross B? Tell me. Take a right hand like this, align it in the direction of first vector, curl in the direction of second. How many the direction of A cross B? Coming out. Okay. Now tell me the direction of B L cross R over here at this point. B L cross R. Align your hand. So magnetic field over here is into. So this cross with a circle represents into the board. Okay? And a dot inside the circle represents something coming out of the board. This is just a representation. Okay? So direction of magnetic field is into the board. Now, direction of magnetic field will be into the board wherever you take DL throughout this wire. Okay, this is one way to find the direction of magnetic field. Another way or another simpler way to find the direction of magnetic field is like this. Say right hand only and align your thumb in the direction of current and then fold your hand. So this side the magnetic field is inside. If you do it that way, current in the direction of thumb, so this side magnetic field is outside. Okay, so it forms sort of loop over here. It goes in, comes out. But in the board, if you align the thumb in the direction of current like this, it is inside that side and it is coming out this side. Understood? Okay? So we are going to use this formula and integrate it to find out the binary field due to different types of the current. Understood? Magnetic field depends on the direction of DL also. So it should depend on the shape of the loop through which the current is passing or wire through which current is passing. Okay. Just it. No doubt, right? This is this is the beginning of magnetic This formula. You should be very comfortable with this. formula for magnetism, magnetic field in terms of dipole moment. Yes or no? Because that is a basic cause. If I have a formula of magnetic field in terms of dipole moment and I know it is magnetic field only exists because of dipole moment, then all I need to know is what is the dipole moment value. And I just substitute and get the answer. It doesn't matter what is the current, how much is the dipole moment. But then that we are not learning right now. We are learning magnetic field due to a current. In terms of current we are finding the magnetic field. Alright, so we are, we are going to use Bio's Bio Sava law, application of Bio Sava law on a circular loop, right now. Draw a circle like this.
but you may not be going to draw exactly like this. We can draw this somehow. This current, okay? Radius is R. You have to find out the magnetic field at the center of the loop. Find out the magnetic field at the center of the loop. So how will you do this? How will you apply Bio's power law? You can only apply Bio's power law to a small current element. So you, you assume a small current element somewhere, let's say here. And then find out the magnetic field because of just this small element at this point. And then see what it is and integrate it. Direction of magnetic field will be where? Sorry? Direction of magnetic field. Into the field. Into the field. This is DA, this is R. So direction of magnetic field is? Into P. DA cross R. DA cross R. Or you can use again right hand curl load, fold your hand in direction of current, like this. Thumb is a direction of magnetic field. Multiple ways you can find out the direction of magnetic field. Now, with the direction of magnetic field, it will be the same for whichever DA you take, wherever. Yes. The same. That is the best part. So, all the magnetic field vectors are aligned, parallel to each other. So, all you have to do is find out with respect to one DA, you don't have to take any component and integrate the magnitude. Very good point. Okay. 